Hello everybody and welcome to a little vlog, probably a what I eat in a day video. My friends and I were going to meet at this restaurant for breakfast, but it turns out that it's closed until January 25th, so they're gonna come pick me up and we're gonna go somewhere else for like a brunch slash breakfast i don't know we're just gonna see what's open because a lot of things are closed on the street right now if you've never seen my face before hello my name is kaylin welcome to a little like safe corner on the internet i post videos mainly about eating disorder recovery and intuitive eating so if that's something that you're interested in i would love for you to click on to that subscribe button down below and become part of our family it is snowing like crazy right now it has not snowed at all like even on christmas we had a very green christmas so all of the snow that has not fallen i feel like is making its way down today i honestly think we're supposed to get like 20 centimeters or something like that but anyway uh the next time you see me hopefully i will be warm with some friends and we will be getting some food because your girl's hungry. Just food. Listen, I'm a sex positive yeah. kid. Same way. Like, if I learn something, there's a lot of food. Yeah. You feel like as you should. Like, you're so cute. Me too. We're at brunch. Hello. This is a shrimp up. Oh, we're so good. Hey, you good at that. This is a shrimp and crab dip with some corn pita. I'm gonna look so good. No one ever loves her. This is the Cobb Chicken Burger. Here I got the same thing with Putin. And Miss Erin, this great fish and chips. Looks so good. Oh, amazing. Hello, friends. It looks like I'm wearing a bald cap, but I just showered. When I got home from brunch today, I literally deep cleaned my entire home because I've been really sick recently. And the house was just driving me insane with the amount of like dog hair and just dirt. So I've spent some time scrubbing the house clean. And I think I'm in the mood for a smoothie. And while I was cleaning, I also had a ginger ale. So I'm just gonna finish this because I stuck it in the fridge. Not a huge soda drinker, but I really do like a cold soda um, after I'm done like cleaning or on like a really hot summer's day, even though it's winter and there's like three feet of snow outside. Love a good soda every now and then. I have this mango orange juice that I've been wanting to try, so I think I'm gonna throw this in my smoothie and see what I've got going on um, frozen fruit-wise. So this is what we're gonna work with for the smoothie. We have blueberries, strawberries, some frozen mango, this frozen spinach. I personally prefer to put spinach in my smoothies because I don't taste it and I love that it's just a nice, yummy additive. I prefer spinach over kale because I find kale gives it like a weird texture. Um, and then also some frozen banana. So let's let's get this guy together. Alright. Sorry guys. You just I had to show you my special talent of opening shit with my teeth. of baby food, but it's the taste that counts. Here's friends, this is exactly what I was craving. I don't know why, my body just really craves smoothies in the winter more than the summer. Cheers. Mmm, this tastes so good. I think I'm gonna prep dinner soon so that I don't really have a lot of work to do later. But just a little reminder that if you're hungry, okay, the only response to hunger is to go eat. It doesn't matter if you're mentally hungry, physically hungry, if you're like having taste hunger, anything like that. If you are hungry in any form, go and eat. Watching a video, taking a walk, drinking water, none of those are actual solutions to hunger because again, the only okay response to hunger is to eat. I'm so glad that we're all on the same page. You know what's really sexy and hot? Having a good relationship with food, okay? Okay. It's a little bit later and I'm going to start getting ready 
I'm gonna start getting ready. I'm tired y'all. I'm going to start getting dinner ready. If you saw my last video, it was a Trader Joe's haul. I mentioned that I was going to be filming a bunch of what I eat in a day videos to like try out the food. And if I'm not trying them on my channel, then I'm almost definitely going to be trying them on Instagram. So I'll put my, my handle up here if you do wanna follow me over there for any taste tests. Q and A's, anything like that. But for dinner tonight, I cut up some chicken breasts and I'm going to spice that up, but I'm going to add this to it. This is the Trader Joe's asparagus risotto, which sounds pretty damn good. So we're going to get started right now because girl's hungry. I'm gonna put my pan to medium heat. Just gonna add some olive oil, some chicone off the bone. That didn't sound very nice. Chicken. My pan should be a lot hotter right now, so don't do what I just did, okay? Wait till your pan's nice and hot. So I removed the chicken from the pan and I'm going to add probably like two to three tablespoons of this chicken broth into the pan. And then the instructions for this say to just heat it up all together. I don't really know what what these are. I guess we'll see. The cover that fits this pan, so I'm going to do a makeshift cover with two of these cutting boards and we're just going to leave this alone for five minutes or so. Covered for around five minutes and I'm just stirring it all together. It smells really good but I gave it a little taste and I find it's a little bit bland. I added this Trader Joe's onion salt to the chicken my first time trying it, but I think I'm gonna add some to the risotto as well. And I'm also going to add the chicken that I cooked before just right back in. Did you eat your dinner, Tabasco? Did you eat your dinner? Good boy. Just gonna incorporate it all together. It's looking and smelling so freaking good right now. This is the kind of cozy meal that I'm craving tonight. I'm also going to add in some frozen peas. I love peas in a risotto, so good. Moment of truth, I've got some chicken, peas, asparagus, risotto, some of the sauce all in one bite. Let's see what I think. Mm, that's really good. I think it's a little bit bland, personally. So I would add a little bit of spice, something, maybe even just salt <laughs> to it to bring out some of those flavors. I might do like a squeeze of lemon, but yeah, that is gonna be our dinner for tonight. I'm gonna plate it up and we're probably gonna watch the newest episode of Reacher, which we watch on Prime, season two. I love a good action show, okay? Shoot me. Beyonce! I love it. Don't actually shoot me, please. Parmesan cheese. Mm. It always makes like any risotto so much better. Bon appetit to us. Damn, that looks good. Hello friends, that dinner was so good. I went back for seconds because it was incredible. But I'm craving something sweet to end the night and I'm going to have one of these mango cream bars that I picked up again from my Trader Joe's haul. I'm just like a Canadian living in this alternate universe right now of having Trader Joe's thing. These are basically creamsicles, but the outside is mango instead of orange. Love a creamsicle. Just sounds so good. My friend recommended these, so I'm pretty sure I'm gonna love it already, but I only got mango. So I'm gonna go at the bottom to get like a little bit of the cream, you know? Mmm, this is so good. I have no idea when I'm gonna be able to go back to Trader Joe's, but I'm gonna be grabbing a box or two of these because incredible. The mango flavor is like bright, tangy, so good. And then the cream, it tastes exactly like that cream that's like in a creamsicle, which is creamy. How many times can I say cream? With like a vanilla, vanilla bean kind of flavor. So good. I'm going to enjoy this, but I hope you liked this what I eat in a day video. A reminder that every single day is different, which is why I post so many of these videos to give you some fun food inspiration, some new recipes to try, and also just to show that you can have a positive and healthy relationship with food, even though you used to really struggle with body image or eating disorders or whatever it might be. And I don't think I said happy new year on my channel yet even though this video is going up in like the second week of january but happy new year happy 2024 i'm wishing everybody a safe healthy and happy new year okay so make sure to do something kind for yourself and i will see you in my next video bye friends